and Anda was in this trance, clearly arranged by the siblings. That night, Ken silently stayed by Anda's side, changed his clothes and poured water for him, and took care of him tirelessly. Anda got better under Ken's careful guarding. Early the next morning, Anda woke up and looked at Ken who was busy in the kitchen, and remembered the careful care last night, and couldn't help feeling warm in her heart. Ken's cooking skills are quite good, and Anda is also very happy to eat. Ken told him to go home tonight. Anda murmured softly when she heard it. In fact, she can stay. Ken was very pleasantly surprised when he heard it, and happily agreed to come down and say that he would stay for a few more days. Anda was also very happy at first, but when he saw the fantasy in Ken's mind about the two living together, there is a smile when two people cook together every morning, and there is also a sweet interaction of tidying up each other's clothes when getting ready for work. Anda froze again. Anda, who was looking forward to getting off work early every day. I started to hesitate, and even wanted to take the initiative to stay and work overtime. Unexpectedly, Ken came to him after work, and sent him a text message when he saw Anda was not there, and asked him to leave work together. Anda, who wanted to avoid it, was spotted by Chiao and greeted her loudly. Ken ran over when he heard the noise. Xiao teased that the relationship between the two of them was too good. Ken also voluntarily admitted that he was staying at Anda's house. His original intention was to show off, but Xiao was super excited when he heard it, and immediately said that he also wanted to go to Anda's house to play. Ken wanted to refuse, but Anda thought that maybe he would not be so embarrassed after Xiao came, so he agreed to his request immediately. That night, the three had a barbecue together. Xiao was very enthusiastic and always likes to feed Anda, which makes Ken jealous, so he quickly bakes his favorite food for Anda. At the same time, Ken was still silently reflecting on whether he was too nervous, he should relax, and then took a sip of beer melancholy, and Anda smiled happily after hearing his little thoughts, and couldn't help thinking, Ken still has such a cute side. That night, Ken and Xiao lay on the floor next to Anda's bed. It's just that Xiao's snoring was so loud that neither of them could fall asleep. When Ken got up to go to the bathroom at night, he saw Anda's quilt was not covered, so he tidied him carefully. He wanted to leave at this point, but he couldn't hold back in the end, and gently stroked Anda's face, which made Anda, who was pretending to sleep, nervous. Early the next morning, Ken quietly left. After work that day, Ken finally decided to keep a distance from Anda after a day of deliberation. Anda was stunned when she heard it, and asked Ken why. Ken told Anda that as he got more and more in touch with, he began to be no longer satisfied with the relationship between the two of them who were just colleagues at the same time. But he also didn't want Anda to embarrass him, so pretending to let Anda forget about it, he said that he was just self-willed for a while and hoped that the two of them would still be good colleagues when they meet next time. Then turned and left. Anda stands still and struggles alone, and Ken was not as relaxed as he thought, desperately restraining his emotions, and walked forward step by step, thinking that maybe after tonight, the two of them would not be able to be ordinary colleagues anymore. In order to avoid Anda's embarrassment, Ken took the initiative to apply for a business trip to Osaka the next day and also wanted to take this opportunity to calm down. In fact, there were many girls who confessed to him because of his handsome appearance. He was so confused at one point. He hated feeling like that. But I also know that no one will believe such words. So I can only bury my dissatisfaction in my heart. Ken worked hard to prove himself, but his boss still paid more attention to his appearance. After get off work, the boss asked him to entertain a female president. And, uh, who was about to get off work? was also called over. At that time, Anda was just an inconspicuous colleague of the same period to Ken. Compared with Ken's calm and calm, Anda is out of tune with everyone. The president was very dissatisfied with his performance and forced him to drink. Ken blocked the drink for him. The female president wanted to take advantage of Ken, but Ken quickly avoided. The president felt that he had lost face and was very angry about it. Seeing this, several bosses also accused Ken saying that he was useless except for his face. Ken is very sad because of this. He doesn't understand why he has been working so hard. But in everyone's eyes, he is still a person with nothing but his face. Ken was so dizzy from drinking that day. He walked home slowly, 
but just when he was about to lose consciousness and faint on the side of the road, Anda suddenly appeared behind him and helped him to a bench by the side of the road. It turned out that the kind-hearted Anda was really worried when he saw that Ken had drunk so much, so he quietly followed him all the way. Perhaps because he was drunk, Ken finally couldn't help telling Anda about his troubles. He didn't expect what the other party would respond, but he didn't expect Anda to tell him seriously. He is a very powerful person. He always takes every job so seriously and takes good care of everyone around him. At that moment Ken's heart beat wildly. It turns out that someone will really understand his helplessness and see his efforts. Ken cried aloud under the comfort of Anda. From that day on, Ken began to involuntarily want to pay attention to Anda. He fell in love with this kind-hearted boy with low self-esteem. At the same time, he also clearly knows that Anda likes innocent girls like Fujisaki. Soon the errand is over and Ken is about to resume his old life. On the way back, he repeatedly told himself to let go of his feelings for Anda and not to cause trouble for him. After work this day, Ken got up and prepared to leave the company. Anda looked at the figure of Ken leaving, and his mind was completely occupied by Ken. Anda, who understands her heart, decides not to back down anymore, and immediately rushes out to stop Ken and tells him bravely that she likes him too. When Ken heard this, he rushed up excitedly and hugged Anda tightly, and Anda also reciprocated Ken very firmly. The next day, the two came to the company to work as usual. Anda, who has never been in a relationship, didn't know how to face the fact that she suddenly had a boyfriend. He always gets very nervous and overwhelmed when Ken is near. Both of them were resting at home that day. Ken cooked breakfast for them, and Anda ate very happily. Ken looked at Anda's cute appearance and couldn't help but took a photo. Anda saw it. She reached out and wanted to grab it back, and the two started fighting happily. During this process, Anda heard Ken's little thought again, to set the photo as a screensaver and watch it every day. They have been together for a while, but Anda is still so sweet. After being with Ken, Anda's face is full of smiles every day. He hopes that Ken will be happy when he is with him, and he can also enjoy the beautiful love. I hope he can express his concern generously, although he likes Ken who can be relied on at any time, but he also hopes that he can also become Ken's reliance. I hope Ken can relax a little bit and be his true self. Ken was very moved when he heard it. They both laughed happily that day and went home holding hands, but a new problem appeared. On the way back, Ken has been plotting in his mind to take Anda out to watch the fireworks at Christmas. Anda was very happy when she heard it, and she accidentally said that there are no fireworks on Christmas. Ken was very strange, thinking that he had slipped his mouth. Annoyed that the surprise was gone, Anda confused the past in a panic. The occurrence of this episode made Anda tangled. At this time, Ken didn't know that he could hear other people's voices. If he finds out, will he feel angry that he has been cheated? And will he leave himself because of this? Anda struggled for a long time, not knowing whether to tell Ken about the magician. So that night Anda took the initiative to invite Ken. <laughs> Ken was very pleasantly surprised when he heard it, and happily came to Anda's side, and slowly moved closer to kiss Anda's lips, by Anda's thoughtfulness and the way he mustered up his courage for himself, but only Anda knows that his thoughtfulness and courage all come from that magical mind reading technique, at this time, he even wanted to use Ken's feelings for him to get rid of him, Anda became increasingly restless as Ken approached. So he simply pushed Ken away and confessed to him that he could read minds. He cried and apologized to Ken, trembling and told Ken that he really didn't lie to him. He suffered for this for a long time, but he really didn't know how to explain it to him. Unlike the imaginary angrily leaving, Ken's first reaction was still to appease the nervous Anda. He shook Anda's hand and told him he believed in him, but Anda was afraid of more than this. He told Ken that deep down he was more afraid of the magic disappearing. Can such a dull self go on with Ken? Ken looked at the crying lover in front of him and told him that he would respect his choice. In any case, he hopes that Anda can be herself happily. If it hurts to be with him, he is willing to let go. 
Anda looked at the affectionate Ken in front of him and nodded heavily. From that day on, Anda returned to her usual drowsy working state. And Ken always avoids contact with Anda as much as possible because he is worried that Anda will be embarrassed. Anda looked decadently at the calendar on the wall that night. Christmas Day also marked the plan for the two to go on a date. And Christmas came in a blink of an eye. The two originally agreed that they would go out for a day today and watch the fireworks at night. They even asked for leave. But they didn't expect such a change. Anda was afraid that the meeting in the company would embarrass Ken. So she chose to take a day off at home instead of taking leave. But he tossed and turned and was still full of Ken. Anda finally decided to follow her heart. Stop being afraid of the unknown. And bravely pursue her own happiness. Through Ten Chi. Anda learned that Ken did not go to the company today. So she rode a bicycle all the way. He came to the meeting place they had agreed on. And as expected. He found Ken who was in a daze. At this time. Ken was very concerned about Anda's feelings. And he told Anda guiltily that it was all because of himself that made him worry about today's agreement. But Anda cried and told Ken that he regretted it. And he still wanted to be with Ken. Even without magic, he still wants to get to know Ken well and spend the rest of his life with him. And very excitedly after hearing this, and told him that he never blamed him. On the contrary, he was very grateful for Anda's superpower. If not, the two may not be able to come together. The love between the two has nothing to do with magic. The reason why they can be happy together is always just because they want to be close to each other's hearts. After speaking, Ken knelt on one knee and took out two red pens that he had prepared a long time ago. He knew that if he gave him a ring with Anda's personality, he would be too shy to wear it. So he came up with the idea of using a pen instead. Ken kneeling on the ground looked at his lover affectionately, begging him to stay by his side forever. Anda burst into tears when she saw it. And the two finally reconciled. At this time, the fireworks bloomed in the sky very timely, as if celebrating them. That night, the determined two went home together holding hands. Anda also ended up losing her magic. His relationship with Ken not only did not conflict with the disappearance of magic, but became closer and closer. At this time, even without magic, Anda can see what is in his heart through a small look from his lover. Since then, they have lived a sweet time belonging to the two of them. The two people in the story seem very different, but they have always been each other's salvation. Anda's appearance was like a key to Ken, unlocking the heavy shackles he had been carrying on himself. Let him understand that he doesn't have to be perfect all the time and can be vulnerable. The appearance of Ken is a ray of light for Anda, illuminating his drowsy life. From that day on, there will always be someone standing behind him, telling him firmly what a wonderful person he is. The two have encouraged and supported each other along the way. From the moment they were together, they never gave up on each other and have been working hard for this relationship. Like we always say, love only makes sense when it goes both ways. Today's story ends here. Friends who like you must support a lot. Leave your feelings in the comment area. And tell me the BL drama you want to watch. We'll see you next time.